Okay, um, my name is Sukin Lee and I'm from Canada. I'm based in Toronto, originally from Vancouver, and I have just been telling stories for my whole life in very various mediums. So I'm a filmmaker, a visual artist, a performance artist, and I'm a radio and television broadcaster. It was through a person in the media discovering my work as a visual artist and musician that he asked to audition me. Um, for for um, my first um, job in the media, which was uh, VJ on Much Music, which in Canada is kind of like, um, I don't know, it's a rock and roll station. And it, at that time, it um, basically introduced Canadians to this incredible rich world of original and independent music from Canada and from around the world. And it was an incredible place because it was unscripted and pretty much every VJ brought whatever they wanted to the table and you had a national audience and um, that's how Canadians came to know me and um, it was very easy after that to get work because when I um, quit that job CBC immediately asked if I would work for them and so it was through a kind of um, I guess an unusual path of of finding art and loving making and expressing myself through through these avenues that led to me creating work and catching the eye of professionals in the field who hired me to do jobs for real on television and radio. And now I guess you could call me pro, although although I feel like I'm always a student. Well, what's special about radio is that um, it does require you to lean a little bit closer and uh, they call it the theater of the mind because you're without the visual you have to engage your imagination when the person says something you're imagining what they look like what they're talking about it really and and oftentimes the richness comes from what you bring to it as a listener so there's a very intimate uh, relationship that you can create between um, you know the broadcaster and and the person listening what i feel is important um, for me in my work is to do my best to tear away the artifice, the authority, to reach out to access communities and hear their voices. And you know, it's it's so much of my work is about planting myself on street corners to see if who will talk to me. And not everybody will, but there are very many that will. And there is not one day that I am not completely blown away by what people share with me and, and what their lives are made of. People will say, you know, how do you feel being a woman in rock? And I never really think about it. I wouldn't define myself as such, nor I feel that's very narrow. And it's usually reporters that ask that, as opposed to people. Certainly when I perform, they're not going, oh, an Asiatic female is on stage. I wonder what cultural female empowerment she'll, she'll impart to it. Like, it's never like that. I never, I feel like um, I've just done my work. And, um, and and I try to do my best and I feel like I'm, um, you know, working on developing my voice and being strong, being vulnerable, bringing my curiosity to it and, and um, I very rarely think of it in terms of that I'm doing it because I want to be a powerful Chinese Canadian woman. Um, I think uh, beyond what you're taught, beyond you know what you think it's supposed to be based on what you see, I think the most important thing if you're wanting to communicate, tell stories, express yourself in art or a song or to work in radio or television or to comment on somebody's Facebook page, Basically, I think it, what is key is to tap into your own passions and curiosities. Um, if you are intended to be in this field, you must have uh, a connection with, with yourself and, and, and realize that you have a lot of questions. You don't necessarily always have the answers, but you have your endless and, and incredible curiosity.